Hello everybody, I hope you are well. In this video, Tony Shuffleberger from Quiet Confidence spends a lot of time teaching people how to use their bodies as a complete unified system, both uh, for efficiency, but also uh, as a sensory unit so you can feel where the weaknesses in your partner's balance are and take advantage of those. Now these are all obviously just drills, so please no daft comments about that wouldn't work in a fight, it's not meant to. These are just sensory and training drills. There's a lot going on in these. There's a lot of other people out there doing this kind of thing, but I think Tony explains things very, very well, and he puts across the, the fundamental points very, very clearly. As always, if you enjoyed this, smash the like button, consider subscribing, and have fun. So what I'm gonna to cover today, and I'm gonna label it intentional connection. Because a lot of times we get taught and we have to start in our brain, we have to start just where we think. And what we do is we learn mechanical movement and then we think this is technique. And it's only mechanical movement. It's not until you get past your brain and into your subconscious, your reptilian brain, that it becomes technique. Where you feel it rather than think it. But to feel it, you have to actually understand yourself first to then be able to replicate how to feel someone else's intention. So today I'm going to talk about intention with connection. I was going to talk about my eye, but I'm going to skip that and go straight to intention with connection, because I think this is more relevant. All right? Can I borrow you, please? The first one we're going to do is your body mass. How do you connect your body mass to someone else without disconnecting from that shape or movement? So we just go fingertip to fingertip now and we'll start neutral. So what I'm going to ask is, sorry, your name Graham. 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 I'm going to ask Graham to go out in this curve here. This is what I'm looking for, is a curve. Okay. So as Sensei um, Jules was talking earlier, if I do this, nothing happens. I've disconnected. But if I do that, I'm just walking around. So the first thing I need to do is awareness of my own body structure to find my feet. So I've released my shoulders, dropped my elbows into my hips, into my feet. I now need to connect through to the other person's structure which is there, is in the heels. Mm -hmm. Now to invite him to turn, what, what I do is I allow my structure from this outside foot to come up through my hips, into my elbow and into that hand and actually get him to turn from my whole core structure. But when I first started trying to learn this, of course, I was using my brain. So I was finding my feet and I was trying to, to move. What I had to do was start in the brain, switch it off to feeling. How do I find the floor? Release the shoulders, drop the elbows, find my hips, there's my knees now into my feet. The next thing is how do I connect to this other person? I can expand through my chest and drift slowly so I'm now into the back corner or back edge of Graham. And to invite him to turn now, I need to carry my structure from my feet through my hip and through my body clear. So this is just a warm-up exercise to teach you to connect through yourself and outreach or to expand to the other person. So let's just start with that. Thank you. See how you go. So release your shoulders, drop the elbows, find your own feet. Once you find your feet, allow yourself to breathe in and expand. And as you expand, just invite this person to come off their feet and then invite them to move. So it's a completely different feeling to just a push. The whole exercise is about exploring your own structure. All right? So if I'm past this heel, it's very difficult for me just to push from this end to this arm. So the whole thing is about structure down to my feet as I find structure and fill, and then now we can ask him to do And we should get this feeling to come off his feet. Try it, see how you go. Okay. So just a quick recap, what I'm talking about is recovering your structure. This is allowing yourself to invite someone else to come off their, their structure. If I'm up in my head and my shoulders and I just push, I'm the one that topples because I've got no grounding, no structure. So when I find my feet, first thing I do is release the shoulders and my elbows and restack myself down onto my feet. Then as I rebuild up through my structure and, and breathe in and start to inflate, I invite this person to come off their heel and hopefully no real push on you, yeah? And this is what I'm looking for. Okay. Just a, one of these strikes down. 
When the person strikes, of course, he wants to look for the best stable position for him for the maximum amount of damage on that impact. So when he's coming in, he's looking for that structure. He wants to cause maximum amount of damage. For myself, I try not to be underneath it because now I'm underneath the maximum amount of damage. So for Aikido, they talked about getting off the railway tracks. And what they mean is when it's coming in here, I just want to move offline. Okay, can we do something here? So when I come here, I want to move offline. The second thing I want to do is encourage this person to come off structure. And we talked about structure earlier. And structure for him is he's trying to be stable. And I could use force to take him off structure, or I invite him to come off structure. So when I get to here, Here's the weight underside. My shoulder drops, my elbow, and I just drift slightly. Now he's off structure. And the beauty of that is when you come in here and you do that sort of thing, we've now captured structure before we start going into any sort of technique. So for this exercise, we want a good, good solid hit, a good strong, he wants to get me in the forehead, and I just want to come offline. The next thing I want to do is come off in a line where I can invite this person to weight this foot compress that kidney and have this top shoulder offline just slightly. Okay? So, through, out. So again, all I'm looking at doing, if I had a sword, is taking structure through that movement. And you can see, with the sword, I do exactly the same thing. This hand again. I come up, I cut the center and then put weight through to redirect body mass. Okay? <clears throat> so for your exercise, firstly, get out of, offline, Find the hollow just above the elbow, between the muscle and the, the elbow. And instead of pushing on the arm, what we're going to do is just roll our own shoulder, drop weight through our elbow and just turn our hips slowly. And let's just play with that for now. Thank you. I, I trained in two different sword schools, the Aikido sword work and the Iaido sword work. And the, the Iaido sword work is what we call expanding sword work. So when you cut, you're cutting it out. Because it's a slicing instrument, you reach out, and because you've reached out, it causes a, a slice. In Aikido, it's more a defensive uh, sword work, so you actually drop in block and go forward, so you've got a forward, if you like, arc, rather than an outward and back arc. So let's use those two principles in the same thing. So what do you like, punch or strike? What do you like first? Yeah, good, just a good punch. Um, and I want to pick on this guy, I hope he doesn't mind, being karate man, they're very, very good in their own structures, and this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so the e idol one would be height here and moving with an outward arc and causing a draw, if you like. It's drawing him forward off his toes here while I stay extended, and this is what I'm calling intention with connection. Because if I just go back and do that, I've got no connection. I've done the right movement, I've got a forward thing here, but I'm not connecting. There's no intention to invite this person to be off posture, off structure. So while I'm here and he wants to come in, what I'm looking for is that an invitation to load this foot, to bring him forward, and I can feel when the next thing's going to come. All right? But the main thing I'm looking for is when I'm here, it's not just a mutual hit, it's an invitation to bring him to his toes. That to me is the e idol way of using the sword. The Aikido one is slightly different because when he punches here, what I do is I go in and I'm going to cut forward. So I've actually loaded him back and out through the back hip. So I've met his forward motion with my forward motion to cause an expansion outwards. Whereas EI is an expansion, expansion forward on the person. The Aikido one here is actually cutting forward and out through the back. So hopefully you're feeling you're now loaded into that back. And again, it slows this next punch coming down because he's locked his hip down. It's, it's more difficult for him now to start to launch. And if he does, it's got less power <coughs> to go in that way. Yeah. Here. So what I'm looking for is this one where I'm going to draw him. And the second one I want to look for is where I go in and I've compressed him. So we've got the two different directions in the motion of what we're doing. And I'm just using a sword cut look to show the theory of what we're doing. It's not technique, it's just a theory. Alright? So have a go. Thank you. Alright?